Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Money and Career. Thank you so much for coming. So we're shuffling the cards. We're asking for this reading to be for you. And as always, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you. Now we're starting out with the death card, the seven of pentacles, the nine of swords, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the lovely four of swords. So let's talk about the first row of cards as we go forward. So this death card, now don't get scared. We're just going to cover that up. <laughs> don't get scared. So you see this very lovely flag. Well, that means harvest. And what you're doing with this lovely card for the pentacles that means you're growing your money. You see this? It actually looks like a plant. You're growing your money. You're getting ready to harvest. Your time is just right around the corner. It is a new beginning for you. That's what it shows. And it is a time where you can, well, work on things. So, but with this nine of swords, you are having sleepless nights, which means I feel like you're on a time crunch. And you see those astrological signs? They're in each square, blue square of this quilt. That means that anybody can be affected. Any sign, anyone can be affected by this. You're on a time crunch. I get it. And that's what it looks like. You're worried that it's not going to come in as quickly, but this Four of Swords is very lovely. I love this card. Now, look very closely up here. Do you see that above the head here of this figure? It says P-A-X. That is the Latin word for peace. This is a very peaceful card, and with that sword and the knight, the Four Swords there, it tells of a memory. It tells of a peaceful ending. It tells that there's meditation, prayer. Now this knight may have fallen on his sword, or he may not have. But whatever the case may be, he is at peace. So, okay, so let's get ready now, and we're going to pick another row of cards. So we have the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, And, of course, the Six of Cups. I like this row. Why do I like this row? I mean, after all, there's a broken heart there. But it's telling me where your head is at. And I believe your head is at, well, let me say this. This page of sword here is announcing something. And you see that sword, how it goes off the card? There's unfinished business. It's not over. That's what you've been thinking. You're brokenhearted. You're thinking that a chance or something is over. That's not true. I do not see that happening. And that sword is chatty and happy. And he's there for you. He is announcing something to come about. You see, this card denotes what a benevolent giver you are and also... There's a lot of nostalgia that goes along with this card. A lot of really, really good memories, nostalgia, all kinds of great things associated with this card, which means there is a happy future coming. And I know that we have a tendency to do this because sometimes we do think the worst in a situation. And that's what's telling me right now with this well, this death card and the three of swords, you're thinking this is the bitter end. You don't have another chance. It's not going to work out. Well, the cards are telling me differently, and I want to share that with you. So let's now pick out another row. So our first card is the Ace of Pentacles. I love this. There is the... Queen of Cups, very good. And also we have the Eight of Wands. I'm thinking about this because it fits so very well in this. And you see this Ace, this Ace of Pentacles, it can be a timing card. But you see with this Queen of Cups, this becomes 
you see that ace and you see the queen, well, the queen is very compassionate. She's very lovely. She's telling you that there's more to this than meets the eye. And you see these little pebbles there at the bottom, there at her feet, those different colors. Well, that is telling you that you have life experience. And that is something that you can't buy. Money can't buy life experience like this. She's looking at this beautiful urn, basically saying there's so much more, so much more to the soul, so much more to everything. Now, with this Eight of Wands, I think you're going to get some news pretty quickly, but I want to pull out another row. So we have the Hierophant and the Devil, And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This just keeps telling me the story. One more card, and I love this, the Four of Wands. Now, this just keeps telling me the story here with this Hierophant and with this Devil. You've got this inner struggle going on. You have to believe yourself in this. I know this has been tough, and I think this has been a situation, a financial situation, that you need balance. Those two columns there... Well, they basically say that there's balance here, but this devil, well, you have to fight that little devil off of your shoulder and say, no, this is going to work out. I know that it will. I know that this is associated to your family and to your home, but this Knight of Pentacles is a wonderful action card. These knights, they're so good to bring you news. And I believe it is news of a property. It could be a settlement on a property. It could be money coming to you from or to a property. It could be a settlement from anything, but it's going to help your home. This is a celebration and it is a money celebration. You've got to believe. You see the garland? That's the tie that binds. And look at the celebration there. Look, there's even little children in the background. I love this for you. That is a beautiful kingdom in the background. And also this card is a good manifestation card. You see the two twos there? That can stand for an 1111. If you're seeing 1111, you certainly can be manifesting. So let's pull out some some more cards here. (laughs) Yay, I love this. This is a confirmation of what I'm saying here in this reading. You have a blessing that is about to come to you. You have a blessing and abundance. Something is coming. I love this. And I do believe that this is now a time where things are going to come full circle I love it for you. And I love these two cards together. I just love this because this tells me that your home is going to be abundant. And obviously it is a true blessing. So don't be too hard on yourself. I don't want to say this is your imagination. But I know how these things work. Where you just have a hard time with the confidence of knowing that a blessing is coming forward for you. So this looks very good for you. And I got to tell you, with this piece, with the packs there, Latin packs, with this piece of this, I'm going to say the piece will actually be in your home, be in your mind. You will find peace of mind. So I want to thank you so much for watching. You be well and you take care. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That would really help me, and I'll continue to bring content to you. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.